In this tutorial I'm going to demonstrate how to set the initial IP addresses of both the ATM and the controller for using the GVG110 panel. So what we do is that on initial boot up we hold our finger on the edit or enable button and after a moment you'll see that the white pattern number 9 flashes indicating we're in the mode of setting the local IP address and the display will show you on the left hand side the byte number and there's four bytes in an IP address and then the value. By using the left and right buttons we can select between the four bytes that we want to change and view and as you can see all four bytes are set to zero at the moment so we can step backwards or forwards so first of all we're going to set byte number one and we, the way we do that is it, if we select the edit and enable button again the byte number will start flashing indicating that's the byte we're about to change and then we can use the up keys to set the byte number and in this case we're setting it for byte number one and I'm going to set it to 192 There's no backwards adjustments, just forwards. Once we're, once we're happy with that value, we hit the Edit and Enable button again. The number will stop flashing and automatically step to the second, second digit. We can also step manually. And as you see, byte number one is now set to 192. We're now going to set the second byte, which we're going to set to 168. Enter. We've now automatically moved to the third byte. We're going to set that to just two. Oh, I've hit the wrong button. We'll go back. Enter. Select it to two. And we hit enter. And now we're going to go to the fourth byte. Well, we're already there. And I'm going to set that to, in my case, 144. As you can see, I'm hitting the wrong buttons because it's all one handed. So, byte number four. We want to set that to 144. So once we're happy with that, we can then go through and check them. 192, 168 to 144. So we're happy with that. So once we've done that, we go over here and we select Enter. And as soon as we select Enter, you'll notice now the second lead starts flashing which is button number 10. And that indicates that we're about to go and set the IP address of the actual ATM itself. And we do the same process. We want to set it to 192. One sixty-eight. These numbers do mean things, but I won't go into explaining them. You've got mail. Thank you. And then we are going to set the last one, which in this case is to 40. That's the number I want. So we can just go and check 192, 168, 2, 240. And then once we've done that, we go back here and we press select again and now the device will reboot shows you the version software version number there while it's rebooting and then once it's rebooted it should be all connected